Et maintenant, êtes-vous prêts pour le match de la médaille d'or Are you ready C'est en fait du bruit Accueillons maintenant les formations de départ. It's now time to greet our starting lineups. Tout d'abord, pour l'équipe de la République Tchèque, 14 Czech Republic. Le gardien du goalkeeper, le numéro 37, number 37, Leos Gallitz. À la défense, à la défense, le numéro 12, number 12, Thomas Kudla. À la défense, à la défense, le numéro 44, number 44, Vaclav Schlepphofer. Joueur d'avant, forward, le numéro 10, number 10, Thomas Robel. Le numéro 47, number 47, Thomas Weyfar. Et le numéro 91, number 91, Lucas Volta. Et maintenant, accueillons la formation de départ pour l'équipe du Canada. Let's greet Team Canada starting lineup. Le gardien de compte est le numéro 1, number 1, Christian Lopper. En défense à défense, le numéro 24, number 24, Bill Marshall. Le numéro 27, number 27, Jordan Crocker. Les avant de forward, le numéro 6, number 10, Louis Jiménez. Le numéro 11, number 11, Justin Maiolino. Et le numéro 62, number 62, Danny Martin. Les officiels pour le match, les officials pour le game, Peter Risco et Adrian Godard. Mesdames et messieurs, bon match. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the game. Bonne chance pour les équipes. Good luck to both teams. Dobré prostě ráno i domů divákům do České republiky začíná finále mezi Kanadou a Českou republikou. Držte palce našim reprezentantům a předávám zpátky mikrofon Steve Pavroj, komentátoru tomuto, tohoto utkání. There you go, a big hello to all the fans in the Czech Republic watching this gold medal matchup. It's Czech Republic in white, Team Canada in black. Easily the top two teams in this tournament. And right away, we're going to have a power play called as Lee Jubenville took a high stick to the face area. 
From the stick of the check player, Canada going to get an early power play opportunity in this one. I believe that might have been Thomas Robel on the high stick. Canada trying to get their bearing here. The rare six on five early in the game. Canada can't play in the line. LeVay is going to put it back for Crocker. Jordan Crocker out of Toronto, Ontario. In for Carl LeVay. Back for Crocker. Canada having trouble getting the line. Good job by the Czech Republic. LeVay has it now. Lose and that will touch it up for the Czech Republic. And we'll have our first power play of the game going to go to Team Canada. Both of these teams are nothing short of lethal on the power play, and they have made teams pay throughout the tournament. Canada going to send Martel with Anderson and Mainman. Little Quebec and Western flair on this Canadian power play. Team Slovakia win the faceoff, and they clear the zone. Good job there by the veteran Jan Pospisil of, sorry, of Team Czech Republic. Pospisil has played in many, many world championships and is the captain of this Czech Republic squad. Here's Crocker now. Crocker down low. Crocker works it down low for Anderson. Anderson back to the half board for Crocker. Out to the point for Danik Martel. Martel spins around for LeVay. LeVay's ball bounces over his stick, but LeVay, the big, strong French-Canadian, holds on to that one. Crocker. Wines, elects to hold on and not shoot. Crocker for LeVay. LeVay's one-timer. That one is, didn't get a lot of wood on that one, and the Czech Republic defenseman easily clear it down the boards. Little pushing and shoving going on on that right side now between LeVay and the Czech Republic player. And flooring's going to be the call. And the Czech Republic player... Just takes a little smack there, and he goes down like he's shot. On that one, LeVay tells him he's diving. That being said, LeVay did give him a knock, and it's probably enough to call a penalty for the official. Not quite sure if there is. No, there doesn't seem to be a penalty called. Faceoff will come in Canada's zone for ice, and Canada's going to play with fire there. That's one where you might see the referee call it, but he did go down a little on that play. Early stages, good crown on the hand at Place Bell here in Laval, Quebec for the 2022 ISPHF World Championships presented by Napper. Face off to the left of Canadian goaltender Christian Lantan. Canada on the power play, haven't got much going yet. Here's Martel. Martel's going to take the ball into the zone himself. Danik Martel. Wrist shot, that one catches iron. Comes out the other side for Jean-Philippe Mocan. Point to Maialino. Maialino down low for Connor Donahue. Connor Donahue, the pride of Sesame Park, Newfoundland. Back for Donahue. Donahue chips the ball down low. Martel is bumped off. Chance for the Czech Republic to clear it. They get it to the line and out. And a good job by Jan Pospisil there. Of, sorry, that was Thomas Zajacek of Czech Republic. Mylino to the line in for Yannick Labonte, the veteran for Team Canada. Back for Greg Morrow on the point. Morrow to Mylino. Mylino down low for Donahue. Donahue dips, dues, couldn't get the shot off. Nice save there by Leo Skerlick of Czech Republic. His first save of the game. Czech Republic have successfully killed off this power play. Not much going for Canada right on right away. Sometimes it's a little curse. You get a power play early in the game. You're not really set for it. But the Czechs, nonetheless, not to take it away from them. They do a good job. Canada. Here's Marc-Andre Trudeau. He chips it down. It's stolen by the Czech player Andre Prozek. Prozek chips it in deep. Giving chase now is Vlaka Schaffler. Schaffler spins it behind the net. Czech Republic, great cycling team. Shot from Thomas Cadella at the point. Rebound, that one's saved by Lantana's. Well, his first couple of touches on the ball in this one. Carl Gierducci. Back behind the net for Jeremy Parody. Back to Gierducci. Gierducci now sends the ball over to Parody. Canada will complete a change. Long lead pass there. Looking to find Cam Nickel. 
Nickel couldn't get that pass, and away come the Czech Republic. Nice long stretch pass here for the Czechs. Buczyk couldn't get it, and away comes Billy Marshall for Team Canada. Marshall dancing like a gazelle as Trevor Mainman down the floor, sorry. Trevor Mainman from British Columbia. Long shot drive, eye off the netting, and that one whistles harmlessly wide. Nickel in the high slot, looking for Mainman. Comes back to the point. Provencal. Sam Provencal putting it down to the half boards for Remy Lorencell. Lorencell looking for Mayman. Can't find him. It's going to find the stick of Lucas Lahoda for the Czech Republic. Lahoda. Up for Radomir Vanek. Vanek puts it across. He'll come back and help out his defenseman for Team Czech Republic. Here's a giveaway. Shot in the slot. Right on. And Justin Maialino with a quality opportunity there and a nice save by Lars Gerlich. Canada with some sustained pressure here. Backdoor pass from Maialino from Martel. Couldn't get it. Ball goes behind the net. Here's Martel. Martel behind the net. Got Maialino in front looking for a little help. Ball comes out to the half board. It's going to come to the point for Provencel. Provencel wrist shot to the net. Maialino can't get a stick on it. Gerlich is going to clear it away. Maialino Great job there by Canada, keeping the pressure on. Now Team Czech Republic will indeed get a chance to clear. Greg Morrill picks it up, backhand pass for Provencel. Sam Provencel under some pressure here. From the Quebec, from the Czech Republic, Adam Kubik. Kubik. Back to the point for Vitek Frederick. Frederick shot that one, whistles wide, harmlessly. Goes down low for Krucek. Martin Krucek, big number 86 for the Czech Republic. Krucek puts it out, but it's going to be stolen by Carl LeVay. See, Canada with some numbers, three on two. LeVay, cross for Anderson. Anderson shot, that one goes nowhere. Jean-Philippe Mocan. Mocan put it in front for Anderson. He couldn't get a stick on that one. And the Czechs will have a chance to clear. Crocker keeps it in momentarily. Back for Mocan. Mocan now for Giarducci. Giarducci coming in. Here's Giarducci. Shot from the slot. Whistles wide off the stick of Anderson. Not much room out there between Canada and the Czech Republic. Good job by Justin Crocker to hammer that one in deep. Crocker's coming back and he's going to be the safety valve for Team Canada. Here comes Crocker. Crocker. Dancing gingerly up the floor. Going to kick it over for Giarducci. Back for Crocker. Crocker up to the middle for Remy Lawrencell out of Winnipeg. Lawrencell puts the ball in deep behind the line. Good chase there, but a great play by the Czech Republic. And here they come with some numbers. Mainman is the third man back. Even strength rush for Czech Republic. Zonic crawl. Crawl spins away. Finds the stick of Prozik. Prozik dancing away. Back for crawl. Here's crawl. Crawl takes a cross check there. No call on that one. Crawl, big strong move coming out. Wrist shot, can't get it through. Here comes Mainman. Mainman to the line, and that goes out, and this will be offside if Crawl brings it in. Crawl dances gingerly across the line and holds on. Canada looking to clear the zone is Mainman. Mainman makes a nice move, gets it in deep, but away come the Czech Republic. Here's Pospisil. Pospisil, nice pass to center, and that one's chipped in by Fafar. Noah Lemos. Lemos for Canada. Rims one around the boards. Finds Alex Tangay. Tangay. Tangay chipping in. Tangay with a good run. Tangay goes down. No call on that plays. Tangay just got tangled up with the Czech player. Good non-call by the official there. Ball chipped out to the neutral zone. It's going to be hammered back in. And Jan Pospisil will go back and give chase for the Czech Republic. Very, very tight game so far. Not much in the way of quality scoring chances. The shot's just 2-1 to one in favor of Team Canada. Czech Republic looking to break the ball out. Going to go cross floor. Pass eludes the player there, and Greg Morrow will come back for Canada. Morrow up the boards for Nelson Vargas Diaz. Finds Yannick Martel. Martel shot a long one. Goes in, whistles wide. Sorry it was right on, but the goalie deflects it wide. Czech Republic, long feed off the netting. Normally that would be a flooring call for sure, but the netting slows the ball down here in the napper cage here at Plaspel. Here's a chance for the Czechs. In the slot, shot. 
That one, not sure, quite sure if it got through or Lantan got a piece of it. And we're going to have another penalty, and this one is going to go against the Czech Republic for body contact. And the Czech player is not happy about that one, but that's a pretty obvious call there. Canada back to the power play, 5.54 left here in the opening period. No score. Canada and the Czech Republic. Good support here in the house tonight here in Place Bell Laval. A lot of veterans of ball hockey. The Hall of Fame ceremony for the latest inductees to the ISBHF Hall of Fame put in. And Hall of Famers here watching, cheering on Canada like Sandro Morello is here tonight. A former Team Canada legend here cheering on the current edition of Team Canada. Mylito dances gingerly, gets the line for Canada, back for Labonte. Labonte. To Mylino. Mylino is going to kick it down low to Donahue. Back for Mokan to Labonte. Mylino. Mokan. Mokan shot. That one whistles wide. Labonte is going to take it. Here's Labonte. Back to the point for Mylino. Mylino wrist shot through traffic. Donahue trying to get to it first. Donahue is bumped off the ball. And the Czech goalie is down. He got tangled up with the defenseman there. 115 left to go on the power play in Canada looking good but not getting the ball to the net good ball position but not much in the way of scoring chances Girlish is still down looks like he just needs a minute and he'll be okay Check goalie got his equipment back in shape here now, and we're ready to drop the ball to the right of Gerlish. Face off, one by Canada. Crocker over for Martel. Martel out there with Anderson and Mainman on the power play. And Carl LeVay, a dangerous weapon over there on the left side. Very strong right handed shot in Carl LeVay. Chance for the Czechs to clear it, and they do so. They fire it down the floor with authority. Under a minute left to go in the power play. One more chance up the floor here for Team Canada. Here's Crocker. Crocker to the line for Martel. Martel couldn't get the line. Nice play there by the Czech defenseman to hold the line. Danik Martel now. He'll have the ball. Kicks it in. Here's an opportunity for the Czech Republic. They might get a breakaway, but LeVay... The big man showed a little quickness in his feet. They're coming back. Here comes LeVay. Shot right on. Rebound kicked out. And a great save there by Gerlish. As LeVay fired a rocket. Just couldn't get it to go. And now we've got a penalty coming to Canada. And you knew it was going to come. Even though it might have been maybe a little bit of a dive. But you knew that penalty is going to get called. Left, right, and center all the time. Let's have a look at it here. And yeah, that's, he went down fairly easily there. But nonetheless, a penalty is called, and Team Czech Republic will get an opportunity to go to the power play. 4.05 left to go in the first period. A very, very tight affair. Only four shots for Team Canada, despite having two power plays. Czech Republic with one shot on goal. Here's Morrow. Morrow behind that. He's content just to kill off the last minutes of this four on four. Now the checks will go to the power play. Morrow fires the ball down the floor. Ball to the line. Checks can't get it through. Good job by Team Canada to hold the line and keep the checks at bay. Both teams have been very, very successful on the power play and the PK in this tournament, and that's what it takes at this high level of ball hockey to be successful. Jax gained the line. Nice entry. Back at the point now. Jax going to stop, settle things down as Krucek. Krucek, he is a shooter. He's a forward. He's up top, but he's going to have to go back and give chase, and that ball is out. Jax stop. There will... Set it up again. Krucek, nice little fake shot, manages to gain the zone. 
Krucek up top. He's got Fafar down on the left side. Krucek's going to work it to the right. Down for Zvonik. Back for Krucek. Krucek can't handle that ball, but he goes back and gets it. Krucek now up top. Swings it across. Canada doesn't allow the seam pass to come through, and away they'll come with the ball. Team Canada. That's Billy Marshall with a very smart play there, not just dumping it. He rags off a few more seconds as 25 remain in this penalty for Team Canada. Team Czech Republic, they're going to make a wholesale change now on the power play. Czechs fire the ball in deep. Lauren Sell comes in. Lauren Sell first to the ball. Good job by Remy Lauren Sell to get that one. Jeremy Parody fighting for it down low. Can't get it was Cam Nickel. Checks down behind the goal. Penalty is over. Teams are at even strength. Canada back to a man-to-man -man defense. Parody fighting the much bigger Czech player down low. Good job by the Czech Republic player. Number 19, Zonic Kral fighting against Parody. There's a chance in front. Shot right on. Nice save there by Christian Lantan of Team Canada. Czech Republic looking dangerous. This is their best shift in the hockey game now for sure. Trudeau can't get a pass Pospisil. Ball gets dumped in deep. Carol Giarducci goes in and bangs with the Czech player. Czechs come away with the ball. Back to the point for Pospisil. Shot right on and Lantan makes the save. Here's Jeremy Parody. Parody for Carol Giarducci. Fires it down the floor and that ball will go out. Canada. Opportunity to clear. Instead, they put it down the ice, and that's going to be a flooring call. And with 1.12 left to go, Canada with some tired legs out there on this line change. Marc Andre Trudeau has been out there a while for sure. Four to three, the shots on goal. Very, very tight affair, and not a big surprise with the caliber of ball hockey we see here on display at Place Bell with these two teams. These are the best players in the world, folks, and they're showing it. Shot deflected. Very close play. Nice tip by Fafar. Couldn't get it to fall. Canada chips it out, goes into the bench. I think that might be outside as it might have been deflected by a Czech Republic forward. Let's have a look at this tip by Fafar. Very nice shot, and Lantan had to be really good on that one to stop that. Face off outside the line, Canada territory. Greg Morrow, long dump down the floor. Checks go back, no flooring on the play. Tange, aggressive on the forecheck. Finds Vargas Diaz, back for Tange. Tange gives chase down the corner, he'll pick it up. Tange first on the ball, an energy line here for Team Canada. Tange to the point, there's a wrist shot blocked in front of the net, and the checks are off and running. Long wrist shot. That one's easily gloved down. And the Canada goalie's going to hold on to it. And we've got a penalty coming up on the play again. This one's going to go. No, it's delayed offside. Thought it was a penalty there. I didn't see it, but it was indeed delayed offside. 14 seconds left to go. Moro out for Vargas Diaz. Vargas Diaz shot. That one's blocked by defense. Not much getting through at all. Six seconds left. Now we do have a delayed penalty, and the Canadians are probably going to go to the power play to start this second period. Team Canada with a little pep in their step, a jump in the stump, but there's no score after one. Tight, tight affair. Second period coming up. You're watching the gold medal game of the 2022 ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championship. Penalty to Team Czech Republic, number 88, Jan Pospisil, two minutes for interference at 15 minutes. Le pointage, zero. A zero après une période. No score at the end of one period of play. Dans ce match de la médaille d'or. In this gold medal match. On aimerait rappeler 
que ce championnat du monde est une présentation de Napper et l'Association de Ball Hockey de Québec. Des remerciements aux partenaires BioSteel, Captador, Sleeman, la Cité de la Culture des Sports de Laval ainsi que la Ville de Laval. We are back, second period underway. Team Canada will enjoy a power play to start off this second period. Czech Republic trying to get the ball down the floor, and they indeed do so. And controversy is abound on Twitter about who the best player in Sesame Park is. And I don't know, it might be one of Donahue's, maybe it's power. I have no idea, but all I can say is Connor Donahue is here playing in the World Championship, so it is what it is. Canada. Dragas Diaz now gets the line looking to spring Mainman. Check goalie with a dangerous play there, but he does get the ball all the way down the floor. Christian Lantan comes out. Anything you can do, I can do better. He moves the ball as well. And Danik Martel will come back and pick up the ball. Martel going to dance up the floor with it. And you got to think they want to try to get Martel going. Ball it was not in offsides is the call. Team Czech Republic doing a fantastic job of holding the blue line. Face off, one by Canada. Here's Greg Morrow now. Canada line gets knocked out though. Mylino with the unconventional pass going back to the goaltender, Lantan. Lantan wings it around, might be in a good move as Canada catches the Czech Republic forward. Mokan. Mokan on the floor. Labonte wants to get to that side badly. Back for Moro to the point for Mylino. Mylino to Moro. Moro set up for Mylino, looking for Mokan. Mylino, that pass is blocked. Going to be fired down the floor by Team Czech, Team Czech Republic. And right now, you can sense a little frustration out of Team Canada not getting anything going on the power play. Mylino. Easy entry there for Canada. Back from Mokan to Mylino. Mylino winds, fires, rebound. Chance for Canada. Donahue couldn't get a stick on that one. Connor Donahue is going to want that one back as he almost had a quality scoring chance. Teams back at even strength down. The Czechs have killed it off. 5-on-5 five five hockey for a little while. Here's Billy Marshall. Marshall up for Mark andre Trudeau. Marshall keeps the ball in. Marshall's going to fire it down low behind the net. Pospisil gives chase for Czech. Pospisil spins away from that. Here's a chance. Trudeau backhand save but a goaltender rebound. As Alex Tange was there, couldn't get it to fly. Nelson Vargas Diaz back to the point for Crocker. Crocker's shot is blocked, and the Czech Republic will come away with it. They've got some numbers. Check. Three on two opportunity. There's a shot right now. Nice save by Lantan. And Alex Tange will take it and slow things down for Canada. Puts the ball behind the net. Krucek comes in and takes it for the Czech Republic. Team Czech Republic is Jan Seka. Seka. Canada content just to catch their breath and let Seka hold on to the ball on the boards. Seka back to the blue line. Checks looking for a change. Ball's going to come all the way around the net. And it does indeed do so. Canada in a little trouble. Scarducci. Canada getting caught flat foot in here. I think he must be tired. Team Canada need to get the ball out the zone and they do. Here comes Marshall. Marshall finds a burst of energy. Jumps down. 
behind the check line. Billy Marshall turns the ball over. Canada getting caught on a line change over on the board. No gate there. They got to hop in and out, and that was a tough job there. Lantan behind the net, trying to poke check that ball. Very strong play here by Jan Muller of Czech Republic. Canadian defender without his stick. Is number 94, 14 Canada. Czechs shot blocked there. Nice play there by Anderson. Now Canada, everybody has their stick back. They're all back in play. Anderson drops his stick momentarily. Czechs very, very strong in the cycle here. Back to the point now. Team Czech Republic looking for a little date. Like Schlepp. They're very, very well. There's a shot. Whistles wide. Canada under some pressure. This is a great shift by the Czech Republic. You see the goal. The referee telling the Czech player to get up as he went down a little too easily there. And when I say a little too easily, he dove. Canada now. Settling things down. Team Czech Republic going for a line change. Ball's chipped up to the neutral zone. Doesn't get into Czech territory. Nice play by Czerny. Puts it down low. Wrist shot right on. Lantan had to be very careful with that one. Canadian player actually went down a little too easy there. That was Myelino. Here's a long drive from the point from the Czechs. Stop. Chance in the slot. Czech Republic with great momentum on this shift. Team Canada in trouble. Myelino. Battling on the wall. Here's a chance for him to get it out. Martel has it. Gives it away. Through check. Now, Provencal steals it. Canada with an opportunity to go. Here's Martel. Martel's got a burst of speed coming down the side, waiting for his teammates to come on. Martel puts it behind the net for Myelino. Myelino pinned to the boards there. Here's Parody. The defenseman has jumped up into the play. Parody. Back for Giarducci. Mokan, nice move. Mokan, shot, rebound. Canada couldn't put it through. Giarducci at the point. Over for Mokan. Mokan looking to come out. Can't find any room there. The shooting lanes are just absolutely blocked off by Team Czech Republic. And that one's going to be sent down to the floor for flooring. 9.06 left to go in period two. Starting to open up a little here, folks. There's good chances by both teams. off is going to be to the right of Leo Skirlish in the Czech net. Czech Republic wins the draw. Canada trying to maintain possession. Mokan fights for it. Here's Jean-Philippe Mokan. Mokan almost was up and it goes in. Mokan, wrist shot, rebound, score! Team Canada breaks the ice! And it comes off the stick of Saskatoon's own Josh Anderson! And he opens up the scoring for Team Canada. It's one nothing.
The Czechs look to answer back after the goal. They had a great shift going. Canada just survived. And Matt Bradley makes them pay on a full two-on-one rush. Canada opens a two-goal lead. And this is a big shift right now at an early point in the hockey game. Still eight minutes left to play in the second. Team Czech Republic need to answer here with a good shift. Canada with a little momentum on their side now. Jeff Bradley, Matt Bradley's brother, Jeff Bradley, scores Canada's second of the game. Ball down the floor, and flooring's going to be called. So Bradley from Lawrencell opens up the two-goal lead for Team Canada. Shots 14-8 with 7.37 left to play here in the second period. Face off is going to be to the left of Girlish. Shot right on. Girlish had to be careful with that one as Yannick Labonte with a quick wrist shot on the Czech goaltender. Nice run here by the Czechs up the floor. Trying to get in is Crawl. Crawl can't get past Provencel. He gave him a good shot there. Crawl comes to the wall. Trudeau tries to get it out. Trudeau does. Trudeau's got Vargas Diaz with him. Here's Trudeau trying to put it through. Ragastinus finds it. Couldn't get it through. Good shot. Crocker. Crocker stops, settles down to the outside. One time chance for Trudeau. Couldn't get any wood on that one. Trudeau looking pretty good in this one so far. Mark Andre Trudeau goes down in the corner, tied up with the Czech player. Good battle for the ball. Nice job by number 36 of the Czech Republic. Andre Prachik to get it out. Here's Mylena up front shot. Trudeau couldn't get it to go by. Trudeau's had a great shift there for Canada. Mylino. Mylino stop slowing things down here for Team Canada with some great pressure in this shift. Danik Martel trying to get that pass. Here's Martel being leaned on by the Czech defenseman. Martel short side shot rebound can't go there and the ball is fired down the floor. Czech Republic with no choice but the fire down. Team Canada are rocking and rolling here now. 6-11 left to go in period two. The referees just let a Czech Republic player, based on injury, he, he made a line change. New rule this year in the ISPHF, no line changes on icing calls for the offending team. Battle down low in the corner, Canada might be more small in stature, but they are certainly making up for heart in these battles. Canada's Mylino, Mylino taken down, no call on the play. Parody jumps in to save it. Ball kept in, now here's Crawl for the Czech Republic. Crawl out for Schleffler. Schleffler takes it down behind the Canadian end. This will give the Czechs a chance to change and they do so. Have some fresh bodies coming off the boards. Carl LeVay comes back and helps out his Canadian defense partners. LeVay, long lead pass, catches the netting. Here's Parody, And offsides is gonna be the call. That will likely bring the face off back into Canadian territory. 18-8. The shot's on goal. 5.23 left to go in the second period of play. off to the right of Christian Lantan won by Canada, Moro to the boards but not out kept in by the Czech Republic forward Moro behind the back pass for Provencel Provencel for LeVay LeVay, can't get a pass Cadella, ball finally comes to the zone here comes Anderson Josh Anderson now coming in Anderson bumping horns with the 
Czech Republic defender. Back for Provencal. Provencal gets on his horse, runs in. Good play by the Czech Republic defender to steal the ball. And now come the Czechs. Long lead pass. Neutral zone. Canada had a little nap there. Here's Ruble. Shot right on. And not quite sure what happened there, but Canada missed that opportunity. Here comes LeVay. LeVay wrist shot. He misses short side. LeVay dangerous shooting from anywhere for sure. LeVay gets hung up on the player. Ball gets fired down the floor. No flooring on the call. Lantan comes out to play it. Back for Crocker. Here comes Crocker. Crocker's got a head of speed in the neutral zone. Crocker coming through. Got found Mo Can with it, but away comes the checks. Two on one. Stopped there by Gierducci. Nice play by Gierducci. Up for Mo Can. Mo Can. Looking for his teammate in there. Here's a chance for the checks. Lantan out of it. Comes out long and Lantan fires it down the floor. No icing on the play. Ball was chipped. Canada's Lawrence Sell giving quick chase on the forecheck. Ball out to the neutral zone. Provencal. Backhand in deep. Team Canada looking pretty good here, especially when they got the four check going. Outlet pass, nice move there by the Czech Republic. Speedy player here. Number 91, Lucas Lahoda. Lahoda goes down like he's shot in the corner. Ball continues to play. Lahoda back with it again. Ball comes out front. Away comes Canada. Nice play there by Philip. Philip keeps it in for Czech Republic. Canada now, trying to get maintain possession of the ball. Cam Nichols batting, battling for it along with Jan Seca. Checks, maintain possession. Here's a shot from Jan Bealy up top. Rebound and Christian Lantan had to be quick on that one. Lawrence Hill chips it out, two on one for Canada. Here's Lemos, Lemos back and misses. second period. Oh, baby, Team Canada are going to play here today. Let's get the call, the official announcement on that one. 2.54 remain in the second, and that is a big, big goal for a Team Canada fan. Czech Republic need a strong response here to end this second period. Goal for Team Canada, scored by number eight, Trevor Mainman. Avec la même, c'est numéro 16, assisted by number 16, Noah Lemos. Et par le numéro 13, and by number 13, Rémi Lorenzel. So there you have it. Trevor Maiman, the goal scorer from Noah Lemos and Remy Lorenzel with his second point of the game. Canada up by three, just over two minutes left to play in this second period. Czech Republic, opportunity now, two on one. Muller, backhand pass, big save by... Face off are going to be to the right of the Canadian goalie. Christian Lantan with that big save and that two on one opportunity for Team Czech Republic. Referee says he wants to do it again and they will stop and have another face off. Czech player went in with his head first there. He's lucky he didn't get called for a headbutt, but he did win the face off. So a, a nice veteran play by Czech. And we're going to have a penalty call. This one is going to go against Canada. You sort of figured that might happen, folks. Team Canada to the penalty kill, and a big, big opportunity here for the Czech Republic to get back into this one with 155 left in the second period, down by three.
Face off to the right of Lantan, Czech Republic with control. Czech Republic power play, Martin Kruczek up top. Kruczek wrist shot, that one whistles wide. Pierre Ducci with a chance to clear. Puts it off the netting. Out for Mainman. Mainman takes it and fires it down the floor. Sorry, that's Nelson Dragas Diaz, Captain Canada. Fires it down the floor and kills a little time off the clock. Czech Republic now looking to gain entry. Kruczek finds the line, gets it through. Dragas Diaz fights for it, can't get it. Czech Republic now will settle things down. Here's Kruczek up top. Kruczek. Pass up, comes back for Kruczek. He's got Thomas Robel here on the left side, on the right side. Robel going to pull it down low for, looks like Daniel Zavonik. Zavonik has been one of the top scorers of this tournament, but he's not going to score with a shot like that. Not on Christian Lantan on this evening for sure. Face off will be to Lantan's left now. Still over a minute left in the power play and in this second frame. Big number 26, Daniil Zavonik. Going to check in for the face off for Team Canada. For Team Czech Republic. Zavonik wins it cleanly. Back to the point. Shot. That one rips wide. Kuchek is behind the net now. Zavonik over to the right side. Back to the point here. Wrist shot blocked up top by Lauren Sell. Back up top. Here's a shot from Rebel. Shoot scores! Thomas Rebel with a bullet on the one-time shot. And it got over the block of Jerry Parody. No chance for Lance Hans. And the Czech Republic needed that goal like a horse needs water in the desert. 3-1. Canada over the Czech Republic here in the second period. Big goal on the power play by Team Czech Republic. Republic goal scored by number 47, Tomasz Feifan. And the credit to the this assisted by number 10, Tomasz Robel. The part of the basis and by number 26, Danimil Zonek. We have the advantage of the 14-05. Team Czech Republic so power play goal with 55 seconds left in the period and Czech Republic going right back to the pressure. You get the feeling Canada just wants to get out of this period. Czech Republic with a little bit of momentum on their side with that power play goal. Face off, won by Canada. Martel, Martel is going to take it. Martel is gone. Martel is off to the races. Pass across from Mylino, couldn't quite get it. And away come the Czechs, Robel. Robel, wrist shot, falls harmlessly to side. There's a long shot, nice save by Lantan. Morrow's going to take it, settle down behind the net. And that'll do it for the second period. A very entertaining affair in period number two. All the scoring done that period, and most of it for the boys in black. It's Team Canada the three, Czech Republic one. We'll be back for the call to third. Underway, Team Canada holding on to a 3-1 lead over the Czech Republic in this 2022 ISBHF championship game. Big crowd on hand here at Place Bell in Laval, Quebec, Canada. The two best teams in the tournament going at it here tonight. 
Checks to the line. Can't get it out. Comes down the floor for Mialino. Mialino chips one in deep for Anderson. Anderson loses that battle to the Czech Republic defenseman Vlakov Schloffler. Schloffler puts it behind the net. Long pass up the floor for the Czech Republic. Finds the lean Daniel Zvonik. Zvonik down in the corner. Pinned by Sam Provencal. Provencal wins that battle. The smaller in stature Canadian defenseman beats the bigger Czech there. Ball comes to the point. Here's Kubik. Kubik shot blocked by Lave. Kubik once again looking for one. Good pressure here by Team Slovakia on this on this opportunity. Canada going to get a penalty now. Moro going to pick up a penalty. And the Czech Republic going to get another power play opportunity. Six on five here for a while. Here's Krucek. Krucek up top. Nice pass down low. Finding the player by the side and then That was a great set up there by Krucek. Robel and Krucek, two veterans of this Czech team and an early power play opportunity. Here in the third period, this will give the Czechs the life they need for sure. 13-21, left to go, 3-1 Canada. Faceoff is going to be to the left of Christian Lantan, the Canadian goaltender. Shots 2016 in favor of Team Canada at this point in the hockey game. Giarducci for Canada. Out to the point, but not out. That one's kept in by Thomas Fafar. Fafar for Krucek. Krucek up top finds Robel. Robel down low. Back for Robel. Robel going to go over for Krucek. Krucek. Nice shot down low. That was a great set play by the Czech Republic, but the shot whistles wide. Canada needs to tighten up that box a little. Krucek over to this side for Fafar. Out for Krucek. Big shot blocked there off. I believe that's Remy Lawrencell for Canada. Czechs look to get to the line, and they do indeed get it. Krucek down low. On the side for Robel. Robel back to the point. Back for Krucek now. Krucek dances in. Feigns a shot. Doesn't get it. Canada tightens up the box a little. Here's Krucek. Krucek. Here's a shot from Fafer and he scores. Once again, the Czech Republic on the power play. Dent the twine. And we have got a one goal hockey game here at Plas Bell. assisted by number 86 Martin Krucek et par le numéro 89 and by number 89 Jan Billy pu inscrire un avantage numérique a power play goal scored at 2.52 at 2.52 checks 2 for 2 on the power play their last 2 they have cashed their ticket and Canada must stay out of the penalty box if they want to be successful in this one. Momentum on the Czech side right now. Jeremy Parody with a steal over for Martel. Martel for Trudeau. Finds Martel. Martel has to give chase back in the neutral zone. Martel turns it over. Here's a chance for the Czech Republic. Shot big save there by Lantan. Getting a stick on that one. Mylino turns it over for Fafar. Martel now. He's got some room to run. Martel off the board. It's going to be chipped out into the neutral zone. Saved there by the Canadian defenseman, but now just chipped up, and that one will go high off the netting to the line, but not in. 
Martel gingerly dumps it into Czech Republic territory in Canada. Will go for a change. Both teams now making some changes. Almost the first five minutes of this third period has gone by. Fast hockey game. Great skill on both sides here tonight. Czech Republic with possession in the Canadian zone like they've been most of this third period. Long shot. Lantan couldn't get a stick on that one. Mokan fighting down low for it. Trying to help out the defenseman. Canada looking to get the ball out. Here's a chance. It comes out to the neutral zone. That'll clear the line. LeVay giving chase. LeVay comes away with it. Here's LeVay. LeVay shot in front. Whistles just wide. And we've got a Czech Republic player down. He went in hard on the bench where the bench is connected. Where the bench drops low for the line change. The Czech player went in hard there. Two players battling for the ball. I don't believe there's a penalty on the call. Just under 10 minutes left to go. Off in Czech territory to the left of Gerlish. Czech Republic win the faceoff. Come away with the ball. That one's chipped. Having to come back for the Czechs is number 36, Prozik. Prozik turns it over momentarily, but away come Czech Republic. Prozik now. Prozik with a long pass doesn't get there. Giarducci is going to come back. Actually, that's Billy Marshall for Canada. Mainman. On the backhand, can't get it out. Here's a chance for the checks. Pass side of the net. Good back check there by Canada's Mainman. And Mainman probably broke up a sure goal. Mainman with some big time speed coming down. Walks by the defenseman Thomas Chiba for Czech Republic. Chiba, oh, good job keeping him to the outside. Ball comes to the line. Vargas Diaz now holding on. Vargas Diaz trying to dance around. A much bigger Czech defenseman, Vargas Diaz. Little magic happening here from Vargas Diaz. Puts it across, can't get it through. Mainman, big contact there with the Czech player. Back behind the net again for Vargas Diaz. Up front, he scores! Trudeau with the feed from Nelson Vargas Diaz. And Team Canada have opened up the two goal lead once again. Listen to these fans, let them know. from Mainman is the fourth Canadian goal and Team Canada opening up a two goal lead once again Canada back to the attack looking for a little insurance here ball chipped out wide and that's going to clear the zone as Justin Crocker goes back to retreat Crocker for Giarducci Giarducci dumps it in Anderson will give chase Anderson bumping down low but the way come the Czech Republic 
Chance for the Czechs to stop and settle things down now, and they will move the ball to Thomas Zajacek. Ball chipped into the neutral zone. That was number 92. Sechak couldn't get it. There's an awkward shot. Finds his way to the Czech goal. Mokan on the forecheck now with Lauren Sell. Canada not sitting back with the two-goal lead. They're putting the pressure on. Czech Republic. Good ball movement in a safe way, keeping it out. Cam Nickel dropped his stick on the play. He goes in, picks it up. Long pass in the neutral zone. Finds number 92, Sechka. Sechka couldn't beat Crocker. Crocker. Nice little headman pass for Nickel. Nickel couldn't get the ball in deep, though. He's got to get it in deep there. Well, Cam with a great back check for Team Canada. Here's Lemos. Lemos, the defenseman. Lemos looking dangerous. Fires one off the post. That one beat Gurlish clean, and Noah Lemos almost had his second point of the game. For Canada, 640 left to go in this one. Canada up by two. No matter what happens here tonight, we will have a new world championship. New world championship. The three-time defending champs, Team Slovakia, eliminated in the quarterfinals by the upstart team from Greece. Canada and the Czechs are no strangers to world championship tournaments, but neither have tasted victory since 2009. And once again, Canada's going to play with fire here. The Czech Republic going to get the power play opportunity with 6.32 left in the game. And folks, I'll call it right now. This is the ball game right here if Canada can kill this off. So Tanga gets tagged for interference. Canada back to the penalty kill. Czech Republic, last two power plays have scored with relative ease. Here's a chance now. Canada trying to clear it out. Vargas Diaz putting pressure on the ball, and now Canada indeed. Tough break there. The ball hit Vargas Diaz on the way out. Cleared, and the Czechs kept it in. Nice play by Fafar. Fafar up top. You know the Czechs want to work that one-time shot. Although they only have it set up on one time, one side, you think Team Canada would recognize that and force the play to the left. They are only set up on the right side. It's got to be something else if they want to go to the left. Ball to the point, long shot, shoot, scores, and there is the play. Fafar with the long shot, and the Czech Republic wastes no time on the power play. That power play is nothing short of lethal. Canada has got to stay out of the box. Republic. Numéro 47, number 47, Thomas Seifar. Avec l'aide du numéro 86, assisted by number 86, Martin Kruczek. Et par le numéro 26, and by number 26, Dalimil Zvonek. Plus inscrit en avantage numérique à 9, 27, a power. So there you have it, Seifar from Kruczek and Zvonek. On the power play, bringing the Czech Republic back to one. Giarducci now for Canada. Backhand pass to the neutral zone, out for Danik Martel. Martel in for Maialino. Maialino takes it in. Canada going to get a power play opportunity there, and the Czechs don't like that one at all. But they're playing with fire. You push someone from behind, his momentum probably brought him down. And I don't blame the Czechs here. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that one with five minutes left myself. You see Jan Pospisil 
talking to the official, but I can guarantee you, Jan, you might be a well-spoken gentleman, but there's no way you're changing your mind on that one. So, Canada with a power play of their own. Canada's power play has been very quiet tonight, though. Special teams have belonged to the Czech Republic. Face off, won by Canada. Justin Crocker kicks it down low here for Martel. Martel trying to squeeze it through. LeBay shoots, scores! Just as we were saying it was pointed, Carol LeBay fires it past the Czech goalie in Canada. Take the two goal lead again. LeVay on the power play, just passing the five-minute mark. Let's hear the call. Goal 14, Canada, scored by number 88, Cal LeVay. Avec l'aide du numéro 27, assisted by number 27, Jordan Crocker. Vu inscrit en avantage numérique à 10 minutes, 5 secondes, a power play goal scored at 10.05. There you go, LeVay from Crocker at 10.05. And Canada restores the all-important two-goal lead here once again. Team Czech Republic, not a lot of time left to get two, but they can do it. Oh, they might have got away with one there as Kubik just dropped Nelson Vargas Diaz. Big save there by Lantan. Anderson fighting for it along the wall. He gets pulled down. Canada trying to tighten up the shop in their own end. They do so. Anderson, down the corners, Marshall. Marshall chips it around for Crocker. Crocker can't hold on to that pass. He'll chip it back once again for Marshall. Back for Crocker. Crocker to the outside. Finds Yannick Labonte. Labonte's got a little room. He'll come down the floor. Very important for Canada to keep it in deep, and that's a veteran move by Labonte there. Trudeau. Trudeau. He tries to bring it out one hand. Gets Picked off there, and away comes the checks. Nice pass there. In. Shot. Can't get it to the goal through, though. And a good opportunity turned away by Lantan. There's a shot up top. Rebound from behind the net. It's Fafar. Fafar getting battled by Lemos. Lemos up top, and he's going to take a penalty, and they're going to give the checks another chance. Noah Lemos. Was a little bit high on that one, and that is a penalty all day long. 3.55 left to go, and can Canada kill one off? That is the answer. A little discussion at the scores table now. Not quite sure if some time went off the clock. The referees are having a discussion. And you can see both of them throwing their hands up with the I don't think so. And I guess that's what they're going to go with. 3.55 left to go. 5-3 Canada. Shots 24-21 in favor of the Canadians. And I think it's the Canadian coaches asking about the clock. It is indeed. You see Coach Jason Cormier really having a hard discussion with the official. I believe Canada thinks there should have been some more time off the clock. And Cormier is a very soft-spoken coach. He walks soft and carries a big stick. He's done a great job with this Canadian program this year. And it's not very often you see him animated. So we see the official coming back over. I don't know if anything's going to change. The clock is showing 3.55 right now. All I know is everybody's getting a good rest. 
Buckle up, folks. Grab some popcorn. Have a pop. We are ready to go here in this last four minutes of this gold medal game in the 2022 ISBHF World Championship. Face-off goes right to the goalie. They will do that again. That'll kill three seconds. So Canada just needs to do that about 18 or 28 more times. Face off again. One by the checks. Here's Krucek. This check power play has been lethal. Krucek fires one through. Marshall trying to get it. He can't come out. Another chance for Canada, and they will fire it down the floor. Good job there by Josh Anderson. Czech Republic to the line. They will gain it with some ease there. Ball goes behind the net. Chance for Morrow to clear, and he does so. Big clear there by Canada. Czechs not going to make any changes. Canada do. Krucek almost got sent in alone, but a quick step there by Greg Morrow, who's been a standout on this Canadian blue line. Krucek now. Krucek for Fafar. Fafar stopped on the wall by Cam Nickel and Canada finally doing a good job of holding that blue line and not letting the Czechs in. Czech Republic now. They'll find a way to get it in. Fafar giving chase. Nickel gives him a bump, but Fafar will hold on the ball behind the net. Fafar out top now. Here's Krucek over on the side for Fafar. Out top for Krucek. Krucek, wrist shot, just looking to hit a stick in front there. Lantan goes down and grabs it. And Jeremy Parody going after the bigger Czech player. He's probably twice his size, but Parody is all a goal. Not much more hurt than in that young man from Canada. And these Czech Republic players, they are keeping on battling. They are not giving up right to the bitter end. They are on the power play, and this is a big opportunity for them to come back in this one. I believe we're going to have a timeout here by the Czech Republic. And it's a good timeout because they need their big unit on the floor. left in the third period, 5-3 Team Canada. The Czech Republic with 39 seconds left of power play time here. Face off to the right of Christian Lantan. Face off won by the Czech Republic. Canada actually, but they couldn't get it out. Krucek, good job keeping it in. Krucek up top. The Czechs haven't put that one-time shot in yet. Trying to get it through the middle on this power play. A number of different looks from the Czech Republic. Here's Fafar, shot, Lantan, not quite sure how he saw that, but he stops and hangs on. 19 seconds left in the penalty kill. And this might be the biggest penalty kill for Team Canada in about 12 years. 5-3, 2-14 left to go. Check goal net is empty. Checks with the six on four power play. Canada trying to get it through. Canada can't get it out to the line, and it does go out a little break for Canada. Crew check has to go back. Ten seconds left in the penalty. Good pass there. Shot whistles high over the top of the net, and Lantan goes and holds on, and they have held on and killed the penalty. Now the goaltender, the net is pulled. 155 left to go. 
Canada up by two. High drama here at Blast Bell at the 2022 ISBHF World Championships. Face off one cleanly by the checks. Trudeau, shot block. Ball chipped down the floor. That's going to go for icing, though. Not sure why Tange was running so hard on that one. Got to have a use your head there, and you know it's going to be icing, and you can't change. Canada with the defensive line, the wily veteran Yannick Labonte has been through some battles, and he is on the floor now for Team Canada. Battle on the outside, Justin Crocker and Fafar, they are really trying to establish position there on the wing. Face off, one cleanly by Czech Republic. Fafar, under some pressure, balls moved up top. Six on five here, late stages of the third period. Crew check. The other side for Robel. Robel kicks it down. Now the Czechs trying to move the box a little bbit. Canada holding. Gerarducci, he's down in a blocking position. There's a shot right on. Chance for Canada to clear. Down the floor. Is it going to be? No, it's going to be icing. 5-3 left. Team Canada a minute and 17 seconds away from their first world championship in 15 years. And you see Coach, and G Coach Jason Cormier looking to call a timeout for Canada. Kubik wins the draw. There's a shot. And the hometown hero just misses the empty net wide. One minute to go. Checks down by two. Checks bringing it in. 48 seconds. They need two shots to tie. Two good shots. Battling along the wall, back to the point. Faking shot, makes the pass. One more. Trying to get it through, cannot, centers. Back to White, 28 seconds, back to the point. The blast, blocked in front, rebound. That's also blocked. 21 seconds. As Martin Kuchik comes all the way down to get it. The crowd standing up and celebrating. Looks like 
We do have an empty net goal! And they drop the ball. No one's going to bother playing. That's it. Team Canada is the men's A World Champions. Nelson Vargas Diaz. At 14.53, at 14.53, marque finale, le Canada 6. La République Tchèque 3, Final Score, Team Canada 6, Czech Republic 3. The biggest game in the world, not a great game from two great teams. Team Canada is your 2022 Men's A Champions. It's definitely a party here in Place Ballerina, here in Laval. Of course, we're showing you the players from Team Canada celebrating, looking at their fans in the stands, holding flags, draping flags around themselves. Lots of hugs. An amazing team, this group of players for Team Canada. They seem to have it all. They had some size, they had a lot of hands, they had a lot of speed. Always were aware of whatever other option existed. 
and then hit it with pinpoint precision. That's Team Canada. Meanwhile, on the other side, we see the Czech Republic appropriately looking dejected. It looked like for all the world, literally, that they could take this 2022 championship. They came in with a lot of size, a lot of power, and hands to match. But they ran into a slightly superior opponent today in Team Canada. And now we'll stand by for the presentations. General Secretary of the Czech Ball Hockey Federation, Mr. Tomasz Brezina. Ainsi que président de Hockey Ball Canada, Steve Power. Et le président de la ISVHF, president of the ISVHF, George Gortos. Le joueur du match pour la République tchèque, the best player of the game for Team Czech Republic, le numéro 47, number 47, Tomasz Feifar. Le joueur du match pour l'équipe du Canada. Best player for Team Canada. Le numéro 20, number 20, Greg Morrow. Et maintenant, nous allons présenter des prix pour nos arbitres du match. We will now present awards to the referees of the game. Les arbitres of the referees, Adrian Godard et Peter Risto. Et maintenant pour annoncer les meilleurs joueurs du tournoi. And now to present our best players of the men's tournament. Le meilleur gardien de but, the best goalkeeper de l'équipe du Canada from Team Canada, le numéro 1, number 1, Christian Lantin. Meilleur défenseur, best defenseman du Canada, from Team Canada, le numéro 24, the number 24, Bill Marshall. Meilleur attaquant, the best forward de l'équipe République Tchèque from the Czech Republic, le numéro 59, number 59, Adam Kubik.
Et maintenant, le joueur le plus utile tout au long du tournoi, the most valuable player from the tournament, de l'équipe du Canada, from Team Canada, le numéro 62, number 62, Danny Martel. There he is, Danny Martel. Le meilleur marqueur du tournoi, the best scorer of the tournament, de l'équipe du Canada, from Team Canada, Danny Martel. Team Canada taking home four of the five individual honors in the tournament, including the gold. La présentation de l'équipe étoile du tournoi. We will now present the men's all-star team. Le gardien but goalkeeper de la République Tchèque from the Czech Republic, le numéro 37, number 37. Leo Schellich. Les défenseurs, the defensemen. De la République Tchèque, from the Czech Republic, le numéro 44, le numéro 44, Vaclav Schlehofer. De l'équipe des États-Unis, from Team USA. Le numéro 92, number 92, Nick Carter. Nick Carter from Team USA, also being named to the tournament All-Star Team. Fantastic defenseman for Team USA. Size, speed, power, he's got it all. Des États-Unis, from Team USA, le numéro 24, number 24, Johnny Ruiz. And now Johnny Ruiz, another member of Team USA, making the All-Star team. Scored a lot of goals during their run. The run. From Team Greece, le numéro 22, number 22, Peter Abandonato! Et de l'équipe du Canada, from Team Canada, le numéro 88, number 88, Carl Léveillé! Number 88, Levaille, no surprise. An absolute force out there on the floor. Everyone, friends now.
l'équipe qui a terminé en deuxième place du championnat ISBHF 2022 de Rocky Ball et la République Tchèque. Team finishing in second place in the 2022 ISBHF Men's World Ball Hockey Championship is Team Czech Republic. Nous invitons maintenant les joueurs à venir recevoir le médaille. The players will now accept their medals. The Czech Republic going through the line with Canada shaking hands after having received their medal. Clapping along with their fans. Looking at the crowd, they're looking at the players. It's a valiant fight. The score does not really match what really happened in the game. A couple of penalties hurt them in the end. Et maintenant, nous invitons le capitaine de l'équipe tchèque à venir accepter le trophée. We now invite the team captain of Czech Republic to come and accept the trophy. Félicitations, congratulations! Et maintenant, les champions du monde ISVHF 2022, l'équipe du Canada. The 2022 ISVHF Men's World Ball Hockey Champion Team Canada. Nous invitons les joueurs à venir recevoir leur médaille. All players now. Team Canada now receiving their medals. Accept your medals. They'll cherish this one for the rest of their lives. Thanks so much for tuning in to our broadcast. I'm Joey Delgado with Memory to Video Productions. You can learn more about us at memorytovideo.com. I'd like to thank some of the members of our team that really helped us in dramatic fashion this past week here in Laval. Dan Delgado, Anjanette Rieger, Anthony San Rocco, Matt Strybick, Justin Coet, Chris Blair, 
Daniel Wilson, Jason Kelly. And a few others along the way as well. We, do, we don't do this by ourselves. So we're grateful to all the cooperation we received. Thanks so much for watching us once again at memorytovideo.com MVP. We'll let the pictures close us out. I'm Joey Delgado. We'll catch you next year. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez maintenant vous lever pour l'hymne national du Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of the winning team, Team Canada. Et maintenant, nous invitons le capitaine de l'équipe à venir accepter le trophée. We ask the team captain to step up and accept the trophy.
Started. 